My name is Susan Hambleton. I'm a painter. I live in New York, and I'm 58. I uh, had a slow coming into loving poetry, because for a long time I thought it was way over my head. Well, my father had uh, always loved poetry, and when we were kids, he not only read to us, I certainly remember being getting a lot of Kipling's short stories. There was a nice kind of understanding of the Psalms, because we'd read a psalm every Sunday, too. When I was a kid, I uh, always loved art, and I had exposure to a wonderful book called Masterpieces of Art, and I loved going through it. And from an early age, I would say from about four, I got to know this painting by Peter Bruegel called The Fall of Icarus. And when I was in my early 20s and then read this Auden poem, which of course makes a distinct reference to Fall of Icarus, it just merged together beautifully, my own understanding of, you know, his grasp of the ridiculous and absurdity of life and uh, my own seeing it from my childhood in this painting. Musée de Beaux-Arts by W. H. Auden. About suffering they were never wrong, the old masters, how well they understood its human position, how it takes place while someone else is eating or opening a window or just walking dully along, how when the aged are reverently, passionately waiting for the miraculous birth, there always must be children who did not specially want it to happen, skating on a pond at the edge of the wood. They never forgot that even the dreadful martyrdom must run its course. Anyhow, in a corner, some untidy spot where the dogs go on with their doggy life and the torturous horse scratches its innocent behind on a tree. In Bruegel's Icarus, for instance, how everything turns away quite leisurely from the disaster. The plowman may have heard the splash, the forsaken cry, but for him it's not an important failure. The sun shone as it had to on the white legs disappearing into the green water and the expensive, delicate ship that must have seen something amazing, a boy falling out of the sky, had somewhere to get to and sailed calmly on. I feel it's very direct. I mean, I can't claim I understand everything Auden is saying, but somehow it's, it's, it's just a two part poem, and yet it has such a fullness about it. Not only the beauty and the sacredness of the moment, but it's what's happening, which is profane, right outside the window, or what's every day as well. It's, it's just a, it's like a whole universe within itself, so that's one of the reasons I really love it. The Favorite Poem Project is made possible by the National Endowment for the Arts, fostering America's creativity and investing in our living cultural heritage. Additional funding has been provided by the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation and by the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation.